look at yourself and just think i just i just don't even know what to do with myself at this point this is what isolation's done to me i just feel like a mess oh haven't even said hello hello good morning everyone welcome to another vlog i just feel like i'm having one of those days of it today where i just feel like a big slug it's 10 days before my period tmi one minute into the vlog already talking about periods but i don't know about anyone else but 10 days before my period like the 10th day i feel disgusting like i just i just feel gross and then the closer it gets to my period the better i feel if that makes sense so like the 10th 9th 8th and 7th day leading up to my period basically just avoid me i mean it's not really hard right now but avoid me because i just so i thought why not vlog today i thought today we could just do another another one cozy at home type vlog i know you guys are really enjoying them and they're my favorite thing to do at the moment so i thought why not so first things first eyebrow update oh my god <sighs> that was the first time i really saw myself very up close this morning i woke up about 10 minutes ago hence why i'm so puffy today okay right that's the last thing i'm gonna moan about today we want this to be a positive, uplifting video and not Gemma moaning about her appearance. So get over it. Crack on with the day. Anyway, eyebrow update. A few videos back, I laminated them at home. Um, they've just been really annoying, to be fair. They I like pubes stuck to my head. They're very crispy. Very, very crusty and crispy. Um, as you can see, you can actually hear, listen. I don't know if you can hear that, but they sound crispy. Um, so I've been conditioning them every single day, which has helped. I asked you guys over on Instagram when they would go down and you advised me four to six weeks. So I'm not going to lie, that kind of depressed me a little bit. I feel like because I haven't vlogged in a week, I've just got so much to talk about. I feel like I've got word vomit. Before we crack on with the day, I really want just like a deep cleansed fet. Oh, oh, look. Yes, that is my camera and tripod in the shower. Listen, I've got a small bathroom. I really just wanted to have just like a really deep cleansed face. My face just feels a bit, just feels dry and I've got a spot coming and it feels very like tight this morning. So I want to give myself a really deep, I can't even get my words out. I love looking in this cupboard. This cupboard is literally the cupboard of dreams. I want to show you it, but it's a little bit like, Everything needs a bit of a clean. Like, I need to get everything out and put it back in. I mean, I will show you anyway, because why not? So, this is my little slice of heaven right here. Please ignore this shelf. This is my stuff and things shelf. I think it's safe to say I have a little bit of an addiction to skincare. Let me put you back in the shower. Oh, I nearly put you down the plug hole. So, first thing I'm going to use, as always, is the Elemis Pro Collagen Cleansing Balm. I have this in the original one, and I also have the rose one. So I'm currently on the yellow one, which smells like a spa. This stuff is incredible. If your skin ever feels just like tight or dry, then just cleansing your skin with this will almost just give it like a really big drink. It's also very good if you ever decide to laminate your brows at home. It's great to moisturize them. Just a little little tip there you can also use this as a bit of a mask as well like if you need a little bit of extra hydration just leave it on for about 15 minutes and it really 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 makes your skin super hydrated another thing i love at the moment are these little cleansing pads called face halos i got a pack of three of these from amazon um i'll link everything i speak about in today's vlog below as always but these are fabulous like so so good sometimes when i use a flannel I find it kind of just smears the product all over my face, like it doesn't really remove it. These are brilliant for removing any makeup. So I just run it under the hot tap and it comes out like this. They're also really easy to clean. Like once you've finished with them, just run them under the hot tap and almost squeeze them and all of your makeup or, I don't know, dirt from your face comes out. Like they're so good. So just from using the cleansing balm, my skin feels so much smoother. I feel like it looks more like healthy and alive. Lots of you lovely people ask me about any Elemis products that I would recommend. I mean, I'd recommend all of them, 
but if you are looking for just one product that's going to last you ages, work and just make your skin beautiful, then definitely go for the cleansing balm. Like this is my all time favourite Elemis product. I'm actually going to double cleanse this morning just because I feel like my skin needs it. So I'm going to use the Gentle Foaming Facial Wash and my Foreo. These two work brilliantly together. I find with my Foreo, it just really helps my skin when it needs a little bit of an uplift. Like it's a really good deep cleanser. It also works as a little bit of like a light exfoliation as well. So it gets off any fake tan. You know when you have stubborn fake tan on your face that kind of sticks in different places. It gets any of that off or just any dead skin or dirt. So next I am going to use my... Soothing Apricot Toner by Elemis. This video is not sponsored by Elemis before anyone asks me. I just bloody love Elemis products. So I never used to use a toner, but I find on those days where your skin just needs a little bit more, they're really, really nice for balancing out your skin. Um, so I usually just spritz a little bit of this over my face. And then I just take off any excess with a cotton wool pad just because I find if I leave too much toner on my face, sometimes it can dry out a little bit. Ugh. I'm fluffing my mouth, I hate that. And then for moisturiser, I want something just really, really, really moisturising today. So I'm gonna use two because why not? Treat yourself. So I'm gonna use the Elemis Pro Collagen Marine Oil. Now, this is brilliant to put on before you moisturise. So I literally applied the tiniest little bits so and maybe two drops. I think that was three, but I meant to only put two on there. I rub it into my hands and then I almost press it into my skin. Now, if you put too much on, it will make your moisturiser go all funky on top. Like it'll all like curdle, if it makes sense. But if you put just a tiny little bit on, I don't know, I just feel like it makes such a difference when I put my moisturiser on. I feel like it really goes into my skin and it doesn't sit on top of it, if that makes sense. And then for moisturiser, I'm going to use the Elemis Pro Collagen Marine Cream. This is another one of my absolute favourite products. I'd probably say the two favourite products are the Cleansing Balm and the Marine Cream. Do you know what I actually really, really need to invest in? A good eye cream. So if anyone knows of like a really nice eye cream... I need one of those because I don't actually have that as part of my skincare routine and I feel like I need it. I need to up my game. Um, my sister loves the All About Eyes Clinique Cream, so I might go for that. Um, but let me know if there's any that you absolutely love. And then the last thing I'm going to use is the Elemis Superfood Little Mist. If you want to have a no makeup day but you want your skin just to be glowing and you want to look really healthy and fresh, then a mist works really, really well, especially if your face is feeling a little bit on the drier side. I think if you apply this after you've oiled, after you've moisturised, again, it just locks all of that into your skin. So I'm just going to spritz a little bit of this over my face as well. By a little, I mean far too much. So that's my little luxury morning skincare routine done. Like I said, I do that not every day. Usually it would just be like a cleanse and a moisturise. But when my skin just really feels like it needs it or I'm feeling a little bit gross, or it's 10 days before my period, then that will be my skincare routine. So my lovelies, I'm going to do my hair today just because if I do my hair, I do feel so much better. Like I'm not going to go with a full face of makeup because... I personally just find a full face of makeup really uncomfortable. Wow, look at my hair. So, the hair style I'm going to do today is the really wavy hairstyle because loads of you have been asking me how I do it. So I thought this would be like the perfect time to show you how I do it. It is the easiest hairstyle and it lasts for days. So if you want to chill at home but still have like nice hair, then this is the best hairstyle. Good if I had a mirror. So what I use to create like my beachy waves are these crimpers. These are Tony and Guy and I actually just picked these up from Amazon. I'll pop a link to these below but it's so so simple. I usually just section my hair and literally I just go through it like this. Now the best thing about this hairstyle is it doesn't need to be knee. It doesn't need to all be the same kind of wave because I quite like it to be quite messy. And like I said with my hair this lasts for days like my hair will stay 
in this kind of style for about three days so it's really nice not having to do anything to myself for three days but still have hair that looks like it's been done if that makes sense so how are you all how's everyone feeling i think we're on week five of lockdown now and i don't know like i keep getting days where i'm just kind of i'm usually quite good at keeping myself very positive and i kind of have the mindset of there's no point worrying about something that you can't change there's no point stressing out about something that you know you can't physically change but it is tough like it is tough being on your own being at home not being able to just do normal things as soon as you leave the house to go to the shop to go for a walk it just feels so surreal i feel like this whole kind of thing going on just feels incredibly surreal so yeah let me know how you guys are in the comments below because i do worry about that i feel like the best thing for me is just creating a routine i say this in every single video but honestly creating yourself a routine really really does help so that is my head done with the waver so as you can see i haven't done it neatly at all i've kind of just don't know just picked up any little bits to be honest it only took me under five minutes so really quick and really easy what i'm going to do next is pop some of this hair serum on this is the function of beauty hair serum so so good so i usually just put two pumps of this on and this almost just makes it not fluffy because i think when you have crimped hair you can borderline look like you've been dragged through a hedge if it's fluffy or you can actually look like you've styled it. If you pop a little bit of oil on, it almost just smooths it all down. I'm going to apply my extensions because they just instantly make me feel more glam. So I'm going to be using my Foxy Locks hair extensions as always. These are already crimped. So I'm literally just going to section my hair and pop these in. When I put my extensions in, I always, always, always back comb the piece of hair that I'm actually going to attach them to. So this back comb brush is actually from Lee Stafford and it's so good. I usually just back comb it so it's kind of matted at the top. I then pop a bit of hairspray on it. Not only does this make your roots like really, really volumized so you can get really big hair, but it also just helps keep the extensions in place. Um, so at the bottom of my head I start with the three clip. I also clip these together, so this is actually two pieces of hair, but I clip them together just so there's not as many clips on my head, if that makes any sense. And then I section my hair a little bit further up, back comb it again, and then the next little set I'll apply is the four clip. So again I've stuck these together. Oh my god, look at my roots. Oh, oh my god. I can't wait for that post lockdown glow up, I am telling you. Can't wait to get my nails done, my eyelashes done, my toenails done, my hair done. <sighs> Dreaming of that moment. So at the sides of my head, I'm going to put the two clip one. And then with the little one clip, I usually just pop this one at the very front. And then I like to just back comb the very front of my hair here, just so my roots are nice and lifted. So that is my hair all done. Like I said, it's so quick and easy and it just makes you feel nice. And I think it also looks like really natural as well. Hey, so my darlings, if you haven't already got yourself a nice hot drink, got your cozies on, surrounded yourself with the quarantine snacks, then you know what to do because I treated myself to a little box of heaven right here, which is a few new bits from the White Company. I think because I'm spending so much time in the house, I just... I don't know, I want my house to feel like a spa, basically. So, first thing I got was this dressing gown. This is the biggest dressing gown I need to stand up. I just need to show you how bloody big this dressing gown is. Right? Well, you can't actually see because the chair's there. Just move some furniture to show you my dressing gown. God, Christ. Uh, okay. Uh, how amazing is this dressing gown? Look how big it is. It nearly touches the floor. I'm kind of sad that it's not completely floor length but it is just the most luxury dressing gown i mean i already have a dressing gown like this but it was from asos and it just doesn't feel as amazing as this this feels like i'm actually in a hotel i'm at a spa and i'm just living my best life anyway time to put my chair back oh god oh god that's so heavy <laughs> oh who needs a man 
not me, evidently. So, what I got from the White Company, oh my god, I'm so excited. I don't know where to start. Oh my god, the smell has just hit me right in the face. A gigantic seashells candle. Now, seashells from the White Company is one of my favourite scents, especially for this time of year. It's so summery like it just smells like summer so this candle actually has seashells in it which i just thought was so cute so yeah i felt like i needed to keep my um candle collection topped up because i've been burning a lot more candles now i've been at home more this scent is honestly just so calming it makes you feel like you're in a spa it's summery and i don't know i feel like it lifts my mood so i picked up that rather giant candle and i also picked up the seashells reed diffuser i've never had a reed diffuser from the white company so i'm excited about this i love a good reed diffuser i'm planning on saving this until people can come into my home because i feel like it's a little bit pointless me having like a gorgeous reed diffuser when i'm the only person who can smell it so i'm gonna wait until lockdown is over to work out my new reed diffuser which i'm gonna invite people around for family barbecues, have Sophie around for a white wine spritzer in the garden. I'll save my reed diffuser until then. Next up, I picked up this shower gel, which is again, you guessed it, in the scent. It's seashells. What actually is seashells? Okay, listen to the description of this. If this doesn't just take you to a really happy place, then I don't know what will. I'm going to read it in my M&S voice, just to kind of give you all the feels. <clears throat> This is the Seashells White Company shower gel. I'm a little bit husky today, so my m &S voice might not work. It kind of sounds like Phil Mitchell trying to narrate an m &S advert. So let's just, let's just not, let's just not do that. Like a warm Indian ocean breeze, soothing seashells is an evocative, I don't know what that word says, blend. <laughs> With notes of rich amber, fresh bergamot, moat, mot, don't know and bright orange warmed by notes of exotic coconut vanilla and almond i could make my showers a little bit more luxurious in the mornings and then next up i picked up this little lip balm which is also in the scent seashells this is amazing i've actually used this and you need the tiniest little bit my lips are super dry at the moment and that's strange because that only usually happens in the winter but they're so dry at the moment and i popped this on just to try it when my parcel actually came and literally instantly it was like all the dry skin had vanished so yeah this is really 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 nice i didn't even know the white company did um skincare either until i was really really browsing their site so just heads up the white company do do skincare so i also picked up this clay mask because i just thought I just thought that looked so nice so this is the maroc spa pink pepper saffron and patchouli patchouli i hate myself it could be patchouli i'm not sure i'm sure you guys will correct me in the comments box below i'm not good at reading like i'm really really bad at reading out loud and I think that stems from when I was at school, I used to have a history teacher that, oh my God, he was just pure evil. Like I'm pretty sure he was Satan in disguise. He was so mean and he used to really pick on people to read. So I feel like my history lessons at school were just me sat in a little ball of anxiety waiting for Mr. Carpenter to tell me to read a page. So now when I read out loud, I'm really, really, really bad at it. Like, I stutter, especially if I have to read in front of, like, a crowd. Like, I physically can't do it. And I blame Mr. Carpenter for my fear of reading. He was so mean. Like, he was just one of those teachers that was just mean because he could be. Like, he was so horrible. I remember if anyone was, like, talking or being a little bit naughty, he used to be like, you're on my radar. And it used to be so bloody scary. You never wanted to be on Mr. Carpenter's radar, let me tell you. Mr. Carpenter, if you're watching this, look at me now, reading out loud to thousands of people. I mean, it's currently just me and my canon, but technically I am now a public speaker. Started from reading about Henry VIII and his five wives to now. Did he have five wives? Ugh, I don't know. I, I didn't pay attention in history, if you can't tell. So this is, this luxurious clay mask is made with Moroccan lava clay to lift impurities and cleanse pores. After exfoliation, smooth a generous layer onto the skin, then soak off with warm water and a flannel to reveal a smoother, more even looking complexion. I'm so excited to try this. I feel like let's try this tonight. Um, oh my God, how satisfying is a new mask? Oh my God, it smells amazing. 
And then last but definitely not least, I picked up this sleep spray. Now, I bought a sleep spray from Amazon a good few months ago. And if I'm ever feeling like anxious or overwhelmed before I go to bed, or sometimes, you know, you get them nights where your mind just doesn't want to turn off and you're thinking about everything and you just really find it hard to relax. I really do think a sleep spray just helps. It really helps and I find I get a really good night's sleep when I've sprayed my pillows with a sleep spray. I picked up this one which is called Sleep Relax and this one is in the scent Lavender and Chamomile. I want to test a little bit now but I'm scared it's going to make me sleepy. Oh my god, that smells so nice. I have some coffee in case it makes me sleepy. <laughs> so that is everything that I got from the white company. I'm feeling very happy with my purchases. So what I'm gonna do now is get dressed, have some breakfast because I'm absolutely starving. Then what I'm gonna do is some DIY tie-dye. I have got an absolute obsession with tie-dye at the moment and it seems to be sold out everywhere. Like on Boohoo, on ASOS, everywhere the good tie-dye is sold out. So I've been investigating and it actually looks pretty easy to do. So, I tested it yesterday on a pair of Nike socks, which I'll show you when I go downstairs. They look incredible. So my mission is today, I'm gonna test it on like an old hoodie and see if I can create like a really cute tie-dye pattern. And I'm also gonna do Sophie a pair of socks because I showed her my pink ones on FaceTime yesterday and she was like, I need some. So I'm gonna make her a really cute pair. So yeah, I'm gonna throw an old top on probably for that because I really fancy my new white company dressing gown being tie-dye. So I put some mascara on because I resembled a boiled egg this morning. And I also popped some little hair clips in because you know when your hair is just in your face, it needed to be out my face today. So it's now breakfast time. This makes me so happy. Hello. Hello. Hello, little one. Hello. Oh, you want a chin rub? Is that nice? <laughs> she spends all day in here at the moment. All day. She's just in this little little hammock, aren't you? Tilly just lives the dream every single day. So I threw on just like a baggy t-shirt. This one is a little cropped one from Topshop. And I'm just about to make one of my favourite breakfasts. I swear I have a new favourite breakfast every single week but this one is so nice so i'm gonna make a coconutty cherry porridge oh my god it's so good so all you will need if you fancy making this is i use some gluten-free pure oats um some coconut milk some desiccated coconut i also pop a little bit of sweetener in there this is the truvia sweetener and some frozen dark sweet cherries whenever i make oats i get asked so much why i make them on the hob and i don't do them in the microwave i actually purchased a microwave decided that i was sick of doing jacket potatoes in the oven so i bought one um but i actually prefer the way oats taste when they're done on the hob so that's why i do them on the hob just in case you're wondering <laughs> So once it's pretty much done, I'm then gonna add the dark sweet cherries. Now, this is like my favorite thing because porridge stays hot for so long, but if you just add a few of the frozen cherries, this is where like the whole packet falls in, isn't it? Oh Christ, probably about that many. It instantly just cools it down and they almost melt down to a bit of a jam. Like, it's so delicious. You guys are gonna love this. If you enjoyed the um, healthy oat muffins that I made, you will absolutely love this. It almost feels like you're eating a dessert for breakfast. And then, to add a little bit of sweetness, I will just add like half a teaspoon of this because this sweetener is very, very, very sweet. And then I'm also gonna add in some desiccated coconut. Oh my god, that was a lot. Wasn't really looking how much coconut I put in there. So this is gonna be a very coconutty breakfast. Okay, so I'm aware this doesn't look like the most appetizing breakfast, but honestly, you have to try it. It's so, so nice. It almost tastes a little bit like a cherry coconut pie. Let me know if you try it, it's so nice. Welcome to another episode of Art Attack. Today, we are gonna tie-dye some clothes. I'm so 
excited. I've literally been looking forward to this so much. Every time, it's never focused on me. Why? Ah, my hip bone. Oh. Tilly is currently scratching up the wall. That is horrendous. Please don't do that again. So I love tie-dye clothes at the moment. When I'm talking about tie-dye, I'm not talking like the crazy mental coloured ones. I'm talking like the nice pastel, cloud looking, dreamy, like oversized t-shirts, oversized sweaters, socks, just the lot. So basically I'm going to be opening a tie-dye shop because since buying this kit, oh, she's scratching my chair. No, hey. So basically everyone, when isolation is over, I'm going to have a house full of tie-dye. Since I got this kit a few days ago, I've thought of so many things that I can make tie-dye. So something I made earlier, actually yesterday, was I took a plain white pair of Nike socks and I turned them bloody pink tie-dye. How cute are these? I showed Sophie these yesterday on FaceTime and she was very jealous. So I'm gonna make her her own pair today. So the tie-dye kit that I'm gonna be using is this one. It was about, I think it was about 22 pounds from Amazon and it literally has everything inside. So it comes with this big sheet that you can put over your worktop. Um, probably best to do it outside, but it's really, really windy outside today and it would just be an absolute nightmare. So. I'm just gonna do it in here today because I'm not gonna be using any bleach. Basically, if you have, say, a black top and you wanna make black tie-dye, you need to use diluted bleach. So I'm not gonna be using that today. I'm probably gonna do that in my next vlog because I don't really wanna be using bleach in here just because Tilly's around and I just feel like it'll be a mess. So whenever I do bleach tie-dye, I'm gonna do it outside. That comes with a huge sheet which you put over your work surface. You also get loads of disposable gloves you get loads of elastic bands which you'll need and then you get so many different colors what i'm going to be doing today is i'm going to do a pair of socks for sophie and then i'm also going to do as both oh god a matching little t-shirt that we can wear to bed cute if you are looking for really huge oversized t-shirts then on Amazon, if you type in Fruit of the Loom Super Premium, these are the best t-shirts. The quality of these is unreal. Like, they're not that kind of flimsy material. Like, they're really thick. Um, so I get double XL, and as you can see, they're just so big. They're so cosy to sleep in. They do sweatshirts. They do hoodies. I'll link these below, but I got a pack of five of these t-shirts, I think, for £12, £15. So really, really, really good. I'm gonna start with the socks because I feel like they are the easiest. The colors I used for these were a really, really diluted pink, a little tip. It doesn't look like you get much dye in these, but they are so, 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 so pigmented. So what I did yesterday to create these was I put a tiny little bit of the dye in a bowl, diluted it with loads of water. I'll show you just how much I dilute it. And then I actually emptied one of these and I just use this to suck it up because I don't want them to be too bright. I almost want them to be quite pastel-y. So if you're a little bit stuck with what kind of tie-dye you want to do, if you go onto Pinterest and type in literally tie-dye, it comes up with so many cute colours. Can't really see that much of them, but you kind of can. So these ones on the end are the ones that Sophie wanted. So they're like a turquoise, purple, pale blue colour. So you only get one shade of a colour in this pack, so this is the only blue that there is. But like I said, the more water you dilute, the lighter the colour's gonna become. So the two colours on Sophie's socks, which I'm gonna use, is this turquoise and this purple. But like I said, I'm gonna do loads of different shades. Okay, so I've filled this bowl almost to the top of water and that's what I'm gonna be adding my dye to. So first of all, you need to damp the item of clothing that you want to tie dye. So, okay, so they're now nice and damp. I'm just gonna lay them out like that so i'm gonna start with a really 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 pale blue so this is what the dye comes in i am literally just going to sprinkle a tiny teeny weeny little bit into there okay i'm going to point you down so you can really really see so as you can see by just using that tiny little bit of dye this is the kind of blue that we've got so like a lovely light turquoise blue so i'm going to do the scrunch effect on these socks so before you put any dye on what you want to do is just really, really scrunch them up. Try and get them as tight as you can. This is what will almost create the, not patchy, like we're going to call it dreamy. The dreamy 
kind of pattern. So once that's really, really scrunched up, today I use two elastic bands per sock. So I'm just gonna do the same with this one as well. I'm just gonna kind of suck some of this blue inside. And then all you need to do is literally just put it on. As you can see, that's a really, really light blue color. So this is almost like my base color. So I'm gonna put a lot of this shade on because I want the majority of the socks to actually be this pale blue. And then in a smaller bowl, I'm gonna take some of this diluted color here and I'm just gonna add a tiny little bit more blue just so it's just a slight bit darker. So literally about that much. So fun, it feels like potions. And then I'm gonna do exactly the same with this darker color, like this. But I'm gonna put this in less places, so kind of just blob it around in a few different sections. Oh my God, these are gonna look so good. I'm so excited. Different color, I'm actually gonna take some of this purple and I'm gonna put some in the blue because I want these to be like loads of different shades. I don't want them to be like just two or three. I want them to be loads of beautiful different shades. Ooh, so that one's more of like a bluey purple. Tilly is literally desperate to get over here. She is the nosiest cat. She can see I'm doing something and she keeps trying to make her way round. Look at Tilly here. Desperately waiting for the tap to be on. She loves playing with the tap. So this is Tilly's favorite game. <laughs> I call it Tilly versus Tap. Sometimes she puts her entire head under that little drip and she wonders where the water goes and then she lifts her head up and it's like all dripping down her head and she's so confused as to where the water's come from. So I'm gonna take these out of the elastic bands just so I can show you what they look like. But what you're meant to do is put them in a bag overnight and then in the morning, you take them out the bag, rinse them and then dry them. Okay, so this is what they look like currently. I feel like... I don't really like these white patches going on. That's why it's good to take them out of the elastic bands just so you can kind of see what they're looking like. So I'm just gonna kind of put them in some of this excess dye, which is on this plastic, because I feel like that'll get rid of all of the little white patches. Oh my God, they look so much better now. All well, the dripping everywhere, but how much better do they look? They look so cute. Oh my God, Sophie's gonna love these so much. So what I'm gonna do is roll them back up into the elastic bands. Okay, so next, what you need to do when you're finished is you need to pop them in a little bag. Now, the only bags I actually have are Tilly's poo bags. So I'm gonna be placing Sophie's socks in one of Tilly's poo bags and they need to be left overnight. And then in the morning, you take them out of the poo bag and you rinse them out and then you will end up with something like this. Okay, so with the t-shirt, I'm gonna make Sophie a matching t-shirt to her socks and then me a matching t-shirt to my socks. I think that'd be really, really cute. So with the t-shirt, it's exactly the same, but obviously they're a lot bigger, so you're gonna need a lot more dye. Okay, what I'm gonna do is when I get to a bit that's really crinkled, I'm gonna put an elastic band around it. Like I'm gonna do it in stages. I feel like that looks about right. So what I'm gonna do is Basically exactly the same as what I just did. Um, oh, crikey. I'm gonna take the light blue and I'm actually gonna fill this little bottle up because I feel like I'm just gonna need loads. I think this is gonna take quite a while so I'm gonna put you guys on a time lapse because um, I'm just gonna be doing exactly the same as I just did with the socks. Okay, so I've done the t-shirt. I'm just gonna open it up and just make sure I'm a little bit worried that there's gonna be like loads of white left on it. Oh my God, this is so cute. Yay. Oh my God, it's so pretty. Oh, I'll put it in my co-op bag. You. Tie-dye queen. So I've just wrapped up another t-shirt, which I'm gonna do a pink one. So the two colors I'm gonna use for this is this coral color and then this pink color. And I've just popped them in two big bowls. So this is what the coral looks like. Not like you can really see. Um, but that's the coral. And then this is the pink. I want this to be like a really, really pastel t-shirt. I don't want it to be too bright and crazy. So I'm hoping that they are really, really, really watered down. I'm going to FaceTime Sophie and show her the socks. 
Um, I might show her the t-shirt as well, but what I will do, so you guys can see them when they're properly done, is I won't end the vlog today. I'll end it tomorrow morning so I can like show you what they look like in the morning. I've just got a florist currently chilling in the back. The vase that I showed you guys from Amazon, our arrangement that I bought from Berries and Grey, I am obsessed. I just need to find a home for it. It's a lot bigger than what I expected. So I need to find somewhere really, really special for it, but I just think it looks so gorgeous. This is called the Spring Bouquet, I think. It was quite expensive. It was 150 pounds, but I really do think it looks really real and I know this will last years and I just love it so much. Tilly, are you desperate to be tie dyed or something? Come on, move along. Go and sit on the windowsill, darling. Go on. Right, let's FaceTime Sophie. I feel like you guys haven't seen Sophie in ages. I speak to her every day, so this feels quite normal to me, but thinking back, when was even the last vlog that Sophie was in? I think it was a come to Primark with us. Say hello. Oh, hey. Hi. Hi. This is yesterday's. Yeah, 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 that's sick. How oh nice God. are they? Thing is, so they look so much different from yesterday because I feel like they've like gone a bit more, I don't know. Like they're all blended. Yes. Okay, are you ready to see your ones? I'll have to like pick you up and show you, I feel like. What is going on? Oh my God. Do you like them? I bloody love them. They feel like once I scrunch them back up and put them like, like those are, They'll go more blended. I know. You ready? I'm Let me just go in my bag of tricks. Bag of tricks. Shop after shop after shop after shop. What have you been up to? I've been working, sitting in sunshine. Sitting in sunshine. I've actually got some sunshine freckles on my face. I've got some too. I sat out for a really? tiny little bit at the weekend and I got like, I get like a moustache of freckles. I get the moustache as well. I've got them all over my, look, can you see? They're all over my cheeks. Oh but yeah. Made us friendship ones of these. So we've got the same, but they match our socks. Oh my God, this is cute. Oh, it's dripping. Bedtime t-shirts. Oh my god. Oh, I fucking love it. I like the tie-dye queen. I know, right? Have you been perfecting your skills? Yeah. I'm so excited. We, as soon as this is over, yeah, I'm not, kid you not, we're going to have a sleepover and wear tie-dye socks and t-shirts. Yeah. Come down. <laughs> this is really hard where, knowing where to look, because I'm talking to you, but I want everyone to be able to see, so I'm like... Hello? I feel really distant. Oh my god. Oh, if I turn this round, you'll be able to see me. Oh yeah. I'm not going like traditional barbecue today. You know, like sausages and burgers. Oh but... no, I'm not. Do you know what? I'm not a lover of a sausage and a burger on a barbecue. I like a nice, like, do you know what's nice? Chicken with like Nando sauce on it. Ooh, and a halloumi. 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 Do you know what else is nice? Med you know the Mediterranean veg that we like, if you put it all on the skewers? Oh, I bet that's dead good. What are you having tonight? Well, I haven't actually been to Are you having yet. fesh? Are you having fesh on the barbecue? Do you know what? I really want to. What Did kind of fish would you have? Food? No. I don't know. Like, I see people doing it. Like, I don't know whether you cook fish on a barbecue in, like, you know when you cook it in, like, tin foil? Yeah, because yeah, otherwise, fish is quite flaky, so it would all fall through the barbecue. Yeah. That's what I thought. So I'm going to try and put, I might put, like, some salmon in some foil and see what happens. I'm trying I'll to imagine barbecued salmon. Prawns would be nice. Oh, yeah, like mm. prawns. Prawn shrimp on the barbie would be nice. Put another shrimp on the barbie. Shrimp. What else is nice on a barbecue? Jacket potato? Mm, yes. Mm. Jacket potato, salmon. Do you know what my dad used to do? My dad used to do a full roast chicken. So, obviously, dad's got, like, the like big boy barbecue. Yeah, like a rotisserie. Like, he's got one of those... Well, he made a barbecue out of a barrel. You know, like a beer barrel. Oh my god. Yeah, he like made a barbecue. So he used to put a chicken in there in the morning and have it in the evening and oh my god, it was the nicest thing. You know how much we love a rotisserie, but a barbecued rotisserie is just new level. Oh, that sounds amazing. 
Do you know what? I've never worked. I like, I'd always wanted to know how they make the rotisserie chickens because you know they're always so. I hate this word. Moist. Moist. Aren't they on that? Oh, I don't really want to say it. They're on the like stick. They're spinning on the stick for a long, <laughs> long time. <laughs> Maybe we just need a spinning stick to make a really good like chicken. Like a kebab stick. Apparently, you can get like a home rotisserie. Oh no, I'm not. Imagine it though in your kitchen. Imagine someone coming into your kitchen and being like, what is that device? It's just my home rotisserie. But you know what the sad thing is? Now that you haven't got the hot tub, I've never wanted to go in a hot tub more. Isn't that, that just ev in everything way. in life, though? As soon as it's gone, you want it. Like, I want that lazy spa. I want that lazy, lazy spa. spa. Lazy spa. Me and Sophie watched the late the hot tub vlog the other day and it made us really sad. We were reminiscing. Do you know what I really miss about that night? What? That food platter. Oh, the, the cheese food, board. Pork pie, like Who remembers cheese, cheese board hot tub night? That was actually one of the best nights of my life. I'm just going to put it out there. I drank so much wine. The next day, I like... like a litre of red wine in about an hour. Thing is though, do you remember those bottles of wine we were drinking? They were, they were, but like, they weren't normal bottles of wine. They were like gigantic the ones. Torso. Yeah, and do you remember, what was it called? Was it called Black Pig? Yeah, yeah, Black Pig. Ooh, I hate it red wine. I was on the so, white wine. It was so good. We had cocktails as well though. Oh god. Don't you remember we were drinking? Captain What's Jack? Captain Jack? Rum. Captain Jack. Is it called Captain Jack? Yeah, it's rum. I know what you want about that. Yeah, it's Captain Jack. Captain Morgan. Captain Morgan. Oh, it's Captain Morgan. <laughs> <laughs> it's Captain Jack. Are you talk about Jack Sparrow. I think you're being a bit. Weird. I think I've mixed. I've mashed. I've done like a mashup of Captain Jack Sparrow and Captain Morgan. Yeah, so you're mashing up rum and parts of the Caribbean. <laughs> yeah, mashup. I knew, what, I knew what you meant. I knew what you meant. It's kind of fitting though, because you can get like Caribbean rum. Yeah, and pirates drank rum. Exactly, so really, it should be called Captain Jack Sparrow. Pretty so anyway, we had Sparrow. Captain... We a distillery to make some Captain Jacks. <laughs> Shall Jack. we? Yeah, <laughs> Captain Jack and Gemma's. Um, uh, no, it wouldn't be Jack and Gemma's, because it'd be yours, you're not Jack. I'd add it to my middle name, just so, because I feel like it's fitting. <laughs> Sophie Jack Russell. <laughs> Barbecue. What I might do is I might put some in a baggie and fucking chuck it. Just go like this. <laughs> oh so yeah. It makes it yours. By the way, we don't live close to each other, so that would not work. <laughs> or I could buy a drone. Oh my god, that's yours. actually such a good idea. You could literally like do shopping drones. Yeah, and like drop them off places. Why have they not thought of this? Hey, we could be onto something here as well. How far do drones go though? Oh, quite far. It depends how much you pay for one. <laughs> this is where we get one from Amazon and it like goes to the back of the garden and we're like, I'm bringing you your food. Thousands on them. Can you? Yeah. Well, that's what we need to do. Oh, this is a very unattractive angle, but I was just chilling. <laughs> I hate that. FaceTime is the worst when you're literally like, Hey. The worst thing it's is when someone like, FaceTimes you like when you're not expecting it and you open your phone and you look like a genuine thumb. That is the worst. Yeah, like, I wish it gave you like a minute to decide whether to actually like to look at yourself first. She was always ringing you. Look at my freckle moustache. Oh my god, you actually have loads of freckles. Do you know what I want, Which Sophie? One? What do you want? Take away Nando's. Oh. Do you know what I want? Zayda. McDonald's, KFC. Harvery, Brampton Mill. Oh, yeah. Do you know what else yeah, I want? Yeah. Primark. Yeah, I just want to go to a shop. Do you know what? I just want to go out. Right, well, I'll let you go and have your barbecue. Don't forget to send me it on the drone. I'll send it you on the drone. I'll send you a picture. I don't know if I Thanks. Right. Bye. I'll speak to you soon. Bye. Bye. So, 
I'm just about to pop dinner in the oven. I'm gonna just do a really quick, easy dinner tonight because I've got a few other bits that I need to do. So I'm gonna make some barbecue chicken thigh fillets on top of rice and peas, and then a little bit of cheese on top. It's really, really nice. I had it ages ago. I think it might have actually been last year. Some chicken thigh fillets. I get the skinless and boneless ones. These are just from Morrison's and they've been in the freezer for a little while actually. I usually grab something like this when I go to the supermarket to keep in the freezer to save me having to go to the shop more than I need to. I'm then gonna pop some of this New York Steakhouse barbecue sauce on here. That is from Aldi and I've had this before. It's really, really nice. So that's gonna go into a baking tray with tin foil over the top for about an hour. I like to cook um, chicken thighs longer than breast, and they go really, really nice. I feel like chicken thighs are best when they're kind of slow cooked. So they'll be in the oven for about an hour and a half in total. So I'll pop them into the tray for an hour on about gas mark 180. And then, I've got a boil in the bag rice just from Aldi which I will do in a pan and some little petit pois. So I will boil this first and then after the chicken's been in the oven for an hour, I'll then tip it into it so it all cooks together. After an hour in here will be the chicken, rice and peas and then I'll put the tin foil back over, back in the oven for another half an hour. And then when I get it out the oven, I will pop one of these cheese slices on top. This is so nice. This cheese is so good melted. So I'll put one of these on top with some flat leaf parsley and some chopped up red chilies. So I'm back in my dressing gown, I've just had my dinner and I'm just about to jump in the shower but I'm absolutely desperate to try out this new face mask. So I'm going to pop this on and then have a shower. Oh my god it smells so nice. I kind of don't want to like break the seal. wonder how squidgy it is. Ooh. Oh my god it's actually really hard. I was expecting it to be like, oh. How the bloody hell do you apply it then? Okay, so when you stab it quite a bit with the, I was about to say knife, definitely not knife. When you stab it quite a bit with the brush, it does soften up. <gasps> you know what this feels like? Feels like it might be a new favorite face mask. Do you know what? A little bit goes a really long way as well, which I really like. It smells absolutely incredible. Do you know what it kind of reminds me of, which isn't incredible? It kind of reminds me of a dentist. It's quite a sterile, sterile, was that the right word? Like quite a sterilizing smell. It smells very clean. I am gonna leave this on for about 20 minutes, have a shower, and then I'll let you know how my skin feels once I've taken it all off. I'm back, check out my hair. <laughs> wow. Usually shower buns are those really annoying ones that go really, really well, but not today's one. Looks like a bird's nest on my head. So the verdict of the face mask, Oh my god, it's absolutely incredible. You guys know I would not say something's good if it's not good and oh my gosh. Sometimes I'm a little bit put off using face masks that are called clay masks because when they dry really hard to your skin, I sometimes find they actually make your skin drier because they're like stuck to your skin then you've got to scrub it off, makes a mess everywhere and it's just horrible. The mask that I just tried, it almost really went into my skin it was almost like a moisturizing mask and then i just wet my fingers and rubbed it in and it almost just slid off like it was absolutely incredible i'm actually gonna put it up there with you guys know how much i adore the himalayan charcoal mask by the body shop i'm actually gonna put it up there because my skin just feels like amazing it feels like i don't need any moisturizer and whenever i do a mask i always need moisturizer after so the fact that my skin actually like even has a little bit of a glow like it's got moisturizer on it like look got bloody shiny forehead but that's just from the mask it was absolutely incredible so my lovelies i am going to edit this vlog because it's actually going live tomorrow for you guys and I'm also going to watch a few episodes of Killing Eve because I've really got back into that recently. I loved the first season and then I didn't realise there was a second and a third season now. So I'm currently on the second season, which I'm really, really enjoying. If you haven't seen it, it's on BBC iPlayer. 
when you first start watching it you do think it's really weird but when you get into it it's really really good so i'm going to do that for this evening i won't end the vlog now because i want to show you guys what the tie-dye looks like in the morning so i shall see you guys in the morning and yeah i hope you've enjoyed the vlog so far good morning my lovelies i hope you're all well so as promised i have my tie-dye in front of me now ignore the fact it's still a little bit damp and it needs a bloody good iron i don't even have an iron so i don't know what i'm gonna do i've got a steamer like a steam iron thing so i'll probably use that but i just wanted to show you kind of what it looks like the next day because it looks so different obviously when it's wet it looks a lot darker it looks patchy but leaving it overnight is literally essential i kind of thought we don't need to leave it overnight like you know when you get cakes out the oven and it says cool before taking them like out of their packets i never do that i always skip that part and I'm just very, very impatient. So let me show you what they look like this morning. So this is Sophie's t-shirt and socks. Like I said, after an iron, this will look a lot different, but I am in love. These have come out so nice. I think next time I'll try and blend the purple a little bit more because I do feel like they are a little bit patchy, um, but I'm obsessed with this like color up here. That's so nice. She is going to be so happy with those. And then this is what the top looks like. Really, really happy with that. Again, I think maybe the purple that I used was a tiny little bit too harsh. I think next time I will try and blend it all a little bit more because I think that bit's a little bit spotty. Um, but then over here is the pink one that I did. Now, this one is very, very wish-washy, as you can see. I probably could have done with using a little bit of a darker pink um but practice makes perfect as they say so i'll leave absolutely everything linked in the description box below i think it's such a fun little thing to do now we're all at home um i'm just trying to think of all the other things i could tie dye curtains bedding i mean i don't think i'm that wild i think i'll stick with t-shirts and socks for now um oh god <laughs> nearly fell off my chair it's currently wednesday morning you guys will be seeing this vlog tonight which i really really like i really enjoy vlogging on the day you guys are going to see it i don't know it makes me feel like really connected to you guys but the problem is every time i do this my internet ends up being really 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 slow and then it's never uploaded for 5 p.m so if this vlog is late that is the reason why but i really hope you guys have enjoyed this video i i'm just having one of those days today i keep crying at everything i think like I said yesterday, when it's kind of over a week before my period, I just have, I don't know, I get some months where it's just too much. Does that make sense? And I think with everything going on right now, it makes it so much harder. So I just wanted to say, if you are finding yourself having a lot of bad days or, I don't know, everything feels a little bit too much right now, please know that this happens to everyone. I feel like recently I'm getting quite a few of these bad days and I'm just gonna today just accept how I'm feeling. I think a lot of the time we can try and mask if we're trying to feel sad by making ourselves feel happy or punishing ourselves and telling ourselves that we shouldn't be feeling sad. I think if you're feeling a certain way, just ride the waves. I am going to get this vlog finished for you guys I'm gonna clean my house because that always makes me feel better. Being in a really clean, fresh environment just instantly kind of lifts my mood. So I'm gonna put some happy music on, have a few hours cleaning. I am gonna go for a walk and come back, have a bath, make some nice food and get an early night. I think I just need to do all the things I love today. It's extremely easy right now to obviously like watch people online and think that they're having a great time in isolation and I don't know sometimes I think we can get a little bit carried away with thinking that other people's lives are perfect when reality is no one's life is perfect everyone has down days everyone has days where they just think this is a bit shit like everyone has them days and as much as I try my hardest to think of good in every situation and be positive sometimes it can be a little bit exhausting and sometimes you do just need to feel how you feel ride the waves and remember that tomorrow is a new day tomorrow is always a new day if you're having a bad day today and you feel sad 
remember that when you wake up in the morning you can start a complete fresh which i always find quite a a comforting thought if that makes sense like knowing that i've got a new blank canvas tomorrow to kind of do and feel how i want makes me feel better i just want you guys to know that if you are having a bad day a bad week a bad month it's okay you're never alone don't beat yourself up about it forgive yourself for feeling however you want to feel so yes i think i also want to have one day this week i'm filming sunday's video tomorrow so i think friday i might have just a day off and I might just sit in the garden, read a book. I wanna just have like a really, a productive day, but not a work productive day. Like just a day where, it's hard, really hard to explain. I wanna have like a no phone day. Maybe I could have an at home spa day and just have no phone, a book, and just be alone in my thoughts. Cause I feel like a lot of the time when I'm like not feeling okay or something is a bit crap in my life, or I'm trying to mask a certain feeling I do tend to keep myself busy and that's great like that helps me a lot but it gets to a point where I think it just sometimes all feels a bit much and I'm at that stage now like I feel very overwhelmed with emotion you know and you feel like you're constantly holding back the tears and you just feel very very on edge I feel like that today so once this vlog is done, I'm just gonna do all of the things that make me happy. Do you know what, sometimes I don't even want to talk about this kind of stuff, like online, and I know that sounds crazy, but the last thing I ever want is for you guys to watch my videos and feel worse. I do struggle with talking about when I'm having a bad day quite a lot because I never, ever, ever wanna be that person that makes you feel in a worse mood. I feel like we all have those kind of people in our lives that are kind of energy vampires and I never want to be an energy vampire. I never want to kind of just be that person. I want my channel to be a place where you guys can come for an escape, where you can come to feel happy and just normal, you know? And I think a normal part of life is sometimes not feeling great. So I feel like it's very important to talk about it. Naturally, I wanna put the best version of me out there, you know? So it makes you feel better. That's my whole purpose on YouTube. I wanna create content that makes you feel good and happy and uplifted and cozy and all of the things that I love. But some days just aren't great. And I'm going to keep it real with you because the last thing I want is for any of you to think that my life is perfect. My life is far from perfect. I'm very blessed with everything that I have in my life. My amazing friends, you guys, my family, everything. But there are some days where I just do not feel good. And I don't know. I just felt like I needed to talk about it today. I felt like it was the right thing to do. I am going to end this vlog because it's very very long i really hope you've enjoyed it i'm gonna be vlogging again next week my birthday's on sunday so i might vlog my birthday because i'm not really gonna be up to much um but yeah there'll be another vlog waiting for you guys next week sunday's video is gonna be what is it gonna be a huge food shopping haul i'm gonna do my weekly food shop tomorrow because i've kind of run out of all food so I'm going to head over to a food shop and kind of get everything that I would get for a healthy week. Because um, I love doing those videos and I used to do them all the time. And I think now is quite a nice fitting time to do one. So that's going to be Sunday's video. And then next Wednesday is more than likely going to be another vlog. But as always, if there's anything you guys would like to see, then let me know in the comments box below. I'm really sorry. I feel like I've just put a whole dampener on this vlog. And now I'm sat here thinking, do I even include this part? Do I just say goodbye? But I don't know, there's something inside of me, like my gut feeling is saying, keep this bit in there. So yeah, God, I'm a mess. I'm an actual mess. Right, I am gonna go. Love you guys so much. Please stay safe and I shall see you on Sunday. Bye. You have to be your biggest fan. And when things are really tough and they're really rough and nothing's working, but there's something inside of you that says, I just have to follow that. Because you don't know who you're gonna be, who you're gonna be, who you're gonna be.